Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 28th. This is for whoever it resonates with. Daily energy, daily message for somebody. I don't know who. May or may not be you. Let's see what comes up for the 28th. Way to start off the day. Seven of Swords. Somebody's been hiding. They've been hiding behind a wall. Wanting to go back. But their pride has gotten in the way. He's holding the Five of Swords. He wants to go back. But his pride is too big. Oh, son of a gun. Pain. Painful. Definitely painful. She's hurt. It looks like she's probably made a decision because, you know, she got the two of swords on this side. And she's making a cut. And it's a painful cut. <laughs> yes, it is. This, this, this guy can't stop hiding the truth because of his pride. He's got an opportunity to speak the truth as well. You see, he's got that truth in his hand. That's the sword of truth, okay? He has. He has it. He has it. And she also has it too. They both got some truth here. She's accepting the truth. It's a painful truth. He's got it in his hand, but he won't communicate it. He's He just, he knows he got it. He knows he can, but he won't. So she's like, she's, she's, she's like, I've been waiting forever for this son of a gun to stop hiding the truth, but he's not gonna, so I guess I'm gonna have to cut him out of my life. Painful truth. It's painful. It hurts. Somebody is being cut out. Sadly. Sadly cut out. Mmm. Mmm. King of Wands. Reversed. Ooh. There's the sword that cuts. Absolutely. Moving in a new direction. Facing the opposition. You know, I'm the driver of my own life. I have the mental strength to move in a new direction. And it looks to me as though somebody is making a decision. To cut somebody out who is very egotistical, self-centered, greedy. I'm sorry. I mean, it is what it is, right? We have a man here that won't communicate. <laughs> he won't. He won't. He won't communicate. He's, he's self-centered. And this woman has decided to take the power in her own hands. I mean, she, she has. Interesting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. King of Pentacles. Now, here's a stable, solid opportunity with something or somebody that could be long-term. Now here we have a golden opportunity with somebody that is loyal, honest, hardworking, stable and secure. This woman could be cutting this man out. Maybe this man is too focused on his coin. This could be any sign this man take this is a man taking on these energies. This woman has to cut this man out because he's focused on everything but love, right? 
Yeah, even though he's loyal and he's honest in some aspects, he's really focused on his money. And, you know, we got it. What is this, a buck? You know, bucks aren't loyal. So he's not always loyal. Bucks, what do they do? <laughs> you know, they want as many does as they can get. So, you know, that's painful. That's painful. So, you know, we got to keep that. I just happen to notice they point out things. You know, this has been pointed out to me. This buck has been pointed out. We have a person here that has been after way too many does, okay? And therefore, he looks like this man, this man has lost the opportunity with this woman. Can't put it in the bank. It won't go in. It will fall. It's, it, it, there's no way that 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 oper that man may have had the opportunity at one time, but he can't put it in there now because it won't go in. It won't go in. The, it's upside down. Everything has been turned upside down because he's been hiding the truth. He won't communicate. <laughs> The longer you don't communicate, the worse things get. Judgment call. Yeehaw. Absolutely. This ain't love. This ain't love. It ain't. Oh, no. No, 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 no. This is holding me back from success. Holding me back from victory. Somebody's been going backwards. Dealing with somebody that was egotistical and self-centered, waiting for this person to communicate. They've been hindering their own good fortune, their own success. Look at that shit. So, looks as though we have a cycle that is about to complete here because we have some woman that is taking the power in her own hands now a female a feminine a feminine okay so for all of you uh, same-sex relationships use use your use your you know own discretion here when I say male and female masculine feminine okay we have the female I'm gonna say female because that's what I say all right we have a female here that's taking the power in her own hand. She's got the power. She doesn't like what she has to do. She doesn't. She doesn't like that she has to deal with this. She doesn't like that she has to cut this person out. But if this son of a bitch can't communicate, he's self-centered, he's egotistical, he's got something to prove, and he's going to keep hiding the truth, then you might as well cut him out. It's time to make that judgment call. It's time to be honest. It's time to wake up. Wake up. And this woman, she sees it clearly. We have a woman that sees what this is absolutely clearly at this time. You can't put something in the bank that's not available if everything is turned upside down. You can't fight gravity. You can't fight what is. We have somebody here. Maybe this, this person cheated. Or involved other people. Obviously, there's been on some other mates involved, okay? There has been. That's hurtful. Very hurtful. Painful. And it looks like somebody is about to master their emotions, take the power in their own hands, and head in a new direction. Take the lead. I'm taking the lead in my own life. Because I've stalled and I've delayed my success. I've delayed my good fortune for long enough. Somebody has been stuck in a situation where there's been no reconciliation. There's been no, there's been no reciprocation of love. And now they're waking up. They're waking up. That whoever this man is that they were dealing with had many other does. <laughs> okay? And they've come, this person has come to the realization that it's time for me to be, be logical and it's time for me to make this final cut because that's not love. So we have a woman or a feminine that is making a decision to let go of a situation that is no longer 
she, the loving feeling is gone. It's like, I've lost that love and feeling. I have. I've lost the love. The love has been lost. There's been, you know, this person, this person has, that has cheated and hid his true feelings has caused this person to head out. Head out of this scenario. You know, this, this person tried to cling to it for as long as they could. This one, she, this person, she, he held on, she held on for, for a long time, a long time, hoping for a reconciliation. But because this person over here refused to come out of hiding, refused to communicate, this person, this person has gained mental strength and clarity. And they now realize that this person, which is the same person, this person is too egotistical and too prideful to communicate. So yeah, we have we have this person here that is deciding to to make a serious cut and head in a new direction towards victory and success after really clinging to somebody for so long, hoping and praying and waiting for a reconciliation. Really, somebody's been waiting for a reconciliation, but that reconciliation never came. It never came. And it kept this person stuck from wish fulfillment, from, from success, from receiving any type of reward. Now this person has found the mental strength to hit the road jack. So, I feel as though this woman now is in control. She's in control. She's got the she's got the sword. She's got the control. She's got the power. She sees the truth. She's awake. She's wide awake. She is. This man is he's in denial. He is in absolute not denial. She's making a cut because there's been no real, you know, there's been no reciprocation of love. Oh, gee, some crow. Son of a bitch. Uh, you know, I was going to say there could be somebody else. There could be somebody else coming in. Could be cancer. Uh. Could be Pisces, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be. But we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So all signs are here. It doesn't matter what sign you're dealing with. We have an offer, a new offer. A new offer of love. Somebody's coming in with an offer. After this cut... There's a, there's a release of one offer and a new offer that leads to victory and success. This offer that has been held on to for so long hindered this arrival. It did. It stalled it. It stalled this arrival. Son of a bitch. But now she's she's awake. We have this person, and it, and it could be a man. This is it could be somebody is wide awake. Somebody is wide awake. They have gone through some sort of awakening. They've received some sort of epiphany that it's time for a change. It's time. It's time to go down that new path. Somebody has gained a lot of wisdom through this painful transition. It's been painful waiting for this person to come back. But during this painful time, somebody has really gone through a spiritual awakening. And now they see the truth. They see this truth absolutely clearly. There's been an awakening here. There's no doubt there has been. 
and somebody is, is letting go of an unrequited love situation. There's no doubt. Somebody is letting go of an unrequited love situation. And, and because they held on to it for so long, they delayed. I mean, here's the delayed. They delayed victory and success with the new love. But there's a new love offer coming in now. Oh, that, that damn five of swords. This woman, she just wants to be happy now. So, you know, I don't have anything to prove. With, with this person from the past, I don't, I just want to be happy now. Yes, it hurts, it bleeds, it's painful, but it's time. It's time for me to, to just make this painful decision to drop it, to drop it, to drop, to cut out this past person who played me. Because you can't, you can't fight gravity. You can't fight what is. You can't fight what is. There's somebody from the past that has hurt this person. They've been, and this person from the past isn't coming back. They're hiding. They're not, they, 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 they don't have the, they don't have the, the mental strength. They don't, they don't have the mental strength to communicate. They don't, all they can do is think about it. They're weak, weak. Okay, this person from the past is weak. And now this, this person right here, this person, they're marrying each other. This person right here is deciding, you know, I just want to be happy. I just want my happiness back. I don't want to deal with these conflicts anymore. And you see where the sword is cut, pointed right here at this guy. Cut out. Cut. Cut. I'm awake. I'm wide awake. I see this for what it is. Somebody has received some sort of epiphany through isolation that this isn't love. This isn't love. And they're heading in a new direction. So, is there a reconciliation with the past? No, there's not. Sorry to bust your bubble. But somebody else poked it. So, anyway. Um, anyhow, there's no reconciliation with the past. There's not. Because the past can't communicate. The past hurt you. The past is upside down. The past is nothing you can bank on. The past has slipped away. The past is not abundant anymore. There's no more abundance there. So yeah, the past is no more. That's what I see. We have somebody that has received the clarification, some sort of epiphany about what the truth really is. There is, is not love. I'm taking the power back in my own hands. I see the light. I'm wide awake. I'm heading in a new direction with somebody that will love me. Towards somebody that will love me. Because I have stalled and tried to control this situation for long enough. And maybe this other person kept you stuck in some way. I don't know. But somebody sees the light. And they're coming out. They're coming out. I'm coming out of this darkness. Absolutely. So I feel like today is a day where somebody decides... makes a final decision to wake up and see the truth about this unrequited situ unrequited love situation they could actually be deciding to move like I'm going to move. I am, I'm moving. I'm moving with these two cards. Because staying where they're at is hindering. It's hindering their success. It's stalling their, their good fortune. So I think that somebody is, is really walking away from a deceptive, moving away from a deceptive situation with somebody who Refuses to communicate, refuses to be honest, 
And this person is a very shady, sneaky individual. And somebody has come, seen the light. Somebody has seen the light. I mean, that's all I can say. Somebody is, is cutting out, cutting out the past. Cutting out this person from the past that they held on to forever. That's what I see. And they're heading in a direction towards towards somebody new. So I feel like today there's going to be some probably truthful communication. Okay? There is. There's still going to be some truthful communication that comes through. Whether it just... Maybe it's, maybe it's from... Uh, you know, it comes from within. Because this is clarity being received. Clarity can be come from so many different ways. Somebody received some sort of epiphany. Okay? This says, you know what? I'm done. I'm done with this. My victory and success is it here. My victory and success is not being stuck here. Yeah, somebody is making a cut. No longer in love. I don't love. I don't. I don't love you anymore. It's harsh. It's harsh. I don't love you anymore. I'm, I don't. I don't love you anymore. That's harsh. It is harsh. It was a painful, stressful decision to cut this person out. But if they can't communicate, then <laughs> you gotta know your worth, right? It's only hindering your own success. It's hindering your good fortune. You know, it's not destined. Somebody was hanging on to something that wasn't destined to be. Not destiny. And it was hindering their new opportunity. So. Wondrous universe. Walk in beauty. Walk in beauty. It's the last card in the book. Okay. It's the last card. It is. It's the world card, basically. It's the end. <laughs> it's the end, okay? It's over. It's over. You cheated me. You lied to me. Your ego got in the way. It's over. You live in a beautiful and wondrous universe. You are a beautiful being. Take time to see and cherish the wonders of life wherever you go. It transforms your life. There is a remarkable beauty within you. Simply acknowledging it allows it to surface even more. The time you take to create beauty in your home will manifest in your life. In native traditions, walking in beauty means to honor all the natural cycles of life and to experience a sacred communion with Creator in all things, including oneself. It's funny, I just said last night I was going to be clear out my house. There's always beauty around you and within you. The sacred traveler constantly looks for and embraces the majestic, wondering, wondrous universe in all forms. You can hear it in the song of an early morning bird. You can smell it in the aroma of freshly break, baking bread. And you can see it in the way the clouds float across the sky. The more you seek beauty, the more it will find you. And the more you will find yourself in a beautiful world. <laughs> I love it. Work on yourself. Make everything around you beautiful. And all the beautiful things will come. In order to do that, you have to remove everything that is not. This is the last card in this deck. The last card is the end. The end of what was. To bring in something more beautiful. And there is another more beautiful opportunity on the horizon. But you have to get in that driver's seat. And you have to cut out everything that doesn't serve you to receive the good fortune you're only hindering you're only hindering yourself by hanging on to something that is not emotionally invested in you you know there's no reciprocation there's no communication there's no love whatever it is it's over it's done you can't fight what is it's time to make this painful stressful decision 
to bring be happy. You don't. It's time. It's time to be happy again. And you have a better, more solid opportunity waiting for you. All you gotta do is move on. So I think today is a day of somebody receiving some sort of epiphany. through solitude that this ain't love and what I've held on to has hindered me and kept me stuck long enough the end <laughs>